This is the first thing that every farmer does, right? Grabs their GoPros and their drones. So when we woke up this morning, there was snow all over the place. We got about two or three centimeters, which completely messed us up for today. And another awesome thing was this morning, I woke up with this giant pimple here above my mustache. So that's awesome. But the sun's drying everything up right now. So that means that we're headed to go combining. I am so excited. I cannot wait for this. And cause it's later in the day right now, we will be combining into the night, which we will get to try the lights out that we put on. I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning right now. So that's what's going on. Let's head to the combine. We got to stop and get some carriage bolts first. Let's go. So I remember when Chris was saying, so you guys brought, you tighten this bolt down. Yeah. But what, how come you're loosening off those then? What does that do? That, that's the, just the adjuster nut that holds it in place. Okay. Or not the adjust, the, the jam nut. Okay. This does the adjusting. Okay. A little bit more. Should be good there. Okay, that's the last thing. That's the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, our shank on. These ones. Now we have a roll full of shanks. I'm calling them shanks. I don't know if that's the right word. But we were missing a few on them, but Joe helped us out once again with his metal work. Oh, and we fixed this. So we ended up getting that patched up, that leak that you guys saw from yesterday. Um, we just tested the corn in one of the bins and it was 21.7, which is awesome. So we're gonna go out, try it, and test the stuff that's right off the field. Still getting used to the clutch in this thing, but uh, there's about half a row back here that he stopped on yesterday. So we're gonna start there. test it here and did it seem to be coming off all right okay okay so we'll hit it on it says corn we'll hit test oh you're saying 25.9 take another sample and see okay this one says 16.3 okay something's not right here all right we're gonna fill it up a little bit more and then see Biggest pains of this here combine. Oh, got it. All right.
That's dusty. tractor meeting us on the other end what I'm doing to show you guys I'm going back here and looking at what it looks like where he just went and it's looking pretty good there are a few little pieces we slowed down our cylinder on it we're running about six and now we're at about 450 still cracking a few but as far as cops it's taking it all off it and they're looking pretty good I know that you'll never get everything and it's kind of a give and take with how much you're putting out the back versus the junk that's getting into the bin. Um, that's just literally just what he told me yesterday. I, not like I'm speaking out of knowledge. Unloading on the road. All right. They just dropped off. So this is the first one. Uh, we're pretty much almost full on that, filling up this section here now, and then they just dropped off the second set of uh, trains here. So we're gonna hit her hard tonight and get them both filled up and then go back at her tomorrow. Harvest is going pretty good so far, knock on wood. I don't wanna jinx anything, but uh, we're devouring up pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. I'm going pretty fast. I mean, I feel like for this, I'm running in gear two, uh, variable speed set at four. So I'm probably doing about five, five and a half kilometers an hour. Corn's coming out pretty clean. It's not cracking as much as it was after we uh, slowed down the cylinder speed. I got it over here. It's set at about, uh, about 400 and that seems to be running pretty good so we're gonna keep going here sun's about to go down we got some more help coming and uh, we're gonna get these trains loaded up and get this corn off all right check back in with you guys in a bit when it's dark all right you know what let's go to dark right now I'm in the grain cart or grain buggy here now. Well, I'm not in the grain buggy. I'm in the tractor that's hauling the grain buggy. But I just wanted to get beside him here uh, to see how fast we were going. And I'm losing a little bit on him and I'm doing 1.9 miles an hour. So we're harvesting corn at about two miles an hour. I'm happy with that. I think that's pretty good for a 1975 combine. Beauty night, beauty night. Ah, my inner kid, I just made a story on Instagram. I was like, man, my inner kid is loving this right now. I'm having a blast. And that to me is the main thing. This is awesome. All right, I'm gonna empty this thing here now. I've never done it on this before. I've literally never even driven a tractor before. That's, that's the truth. But we're gonna line up here. I think this one does the arm. I think I'm good there. So now what I gotta do, he said PTO on. 
and then put her there, and then open my shoe. And I think it's coming out. Nice. All right, well, we're wrapping up here for the night. We got one set fully loaded and then the one half fully loaded of the other one. Spoke to the trucking guys, Malwood. It's all sorted out for the morning. We're gonna come back here in the morning, finish up. Welcome back to day two of farming. We had a bit of a fuel leak last night coming from the injector pump. We ended up one of the lines going to the injector pump. It was a little loose, so we tightened it off. So that should be all right to go now. Just. Checking over the machine, making sure everything's good to go. I'm gonna clean off the windows here first thing because we got a lot of dust there last night and then we're gonna get going. Things are going well. It uh, surprisingly is actually really dry. One thing we had to do was I was spitting out a little more seed than I wanted to at the back. My chaff was actually close too much. So we opened it up and now it's way better. I actually bumped it up today. I'm running at variable speed set at about four and a half to five, which is faster than I was using it. So it's going pretty good. Oh yeah, and yesterday on Instagram, I was corrected. I now know what that's called. Calf corn. That's called calf corn. I learned that. I'm learning things. See? You're never done learning. Never. I sold my four-wheeler to uh, Joe's son and he brought it here. I missed this thing already. Just like that, we are over halfway completed. But you guys are not seeing that on this video. You're gonna have to wait to see. We just came back over. There's the combine there. The annual's running it. It was overheating and we learned that there was very minimal coolant in it. So all that stuff and obviously more in one of the next videos. I just had the air hose underneath it blowing it out. So I'm covered in stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I want to thank everybody that normally watches the construction videos and that are watching the combine videos, the harvesting videos. It means a lot. I know that it's not normal construction stuff, but I'm having a blast doing it. And hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it. Have an awesome weekend. Today's Friday. It's Halloween over the weekend. So have a good, safe Halloween, whatever you're doing, dressing up. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. But of course, I didn't forget about you guys through Patriots, the channel that watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true Patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, let her rip. <laughs> Why let her rip? Well, we've been letting this 1975 combine let her rip for the past couple days. So if you guys watched the entire video to the very end, comment down below, let her rip. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.